I heard when I was getting my teeth fixed, one of the dentists was telling one of the students, look now, if you see this, like her around there, in a white person, this discoloration, you start to look for a malignancy. But in a black person, that is normal. And you think about how many black people that have gone through a whole lot of surgery and everything because somebody saw this bluish discoloration inside their mouth. That's normal. So we got to be dealing with people that know they're normal. Uh, like uh, a lot of white students draw blood, you know, by looking at the veins and, you know, finding out where the veins are and talking in there, you know. If you, uh, on a lot of us, if what you about? try to look and find a vein on us, you're going to be punching for days. You know? I, I have a, a certain comfort that I place in an old black woman because, you know, in some way she reminds me of my grandmother or a brother that says, well, what's happening, brother? And I know that it's a certain relationship that we share and a certain kind of trust. And I think that this is the kind of thing that, that we got to realize that, you know, that black people got to start taking care of black people because they understand black people better than anybody else. I think that I'd like to wake up with some black hands around me, you know, because it's more comforting because it's an insurance because it's, it's, to me, in many respects, it's an extension of a family. Close your mouth, push your eyes, Very good. Push, push, very, very good.